Hey guys, welcome back to Dragonborn. So, as I promised you before, we are now going to go head to Raven Rock and see what secrets, quests, and random crap we can find therein. Does the load screen remind anyone else of the never-ending story? Atreyu? Yeah! Okay, yeah, where's Dover Bear? He's bailed on us again. We'll continue for now. If he doesn't turn up by the end of the video, I'll find him afterwards. God damn it. Excuse me, but the temple is for followers of our faith alone. Outsiders aren't welcome here. How dare you! I'm going in anyway, and I'd like to see you try and stop me, buddy. So the question is, what is in here that he is hiding from us? Besides, you know, yams. Mmm, yams. Some money. Yoink. That'll teach him to tell me I can't go in. Okay, so what is actually in here besides a bunch of blessings? Doesn't really seem like much else. Cool. So what was down here? There was a, yeah, there was a staircase. Let's go check down here. Random book. Come along, Our random book. May be low huh? And danger lurks beyond the light. Who's saying that? I am confident that Are you the voices in my head? No, he's not in there. Are you in here? No. Who the hell said that? It sounded like he was above me, but I was just up there. Weird. Anyway, there must be something down here. There's some pots we could steal. I may come back for you later. There's a bed. There isn't much down here, is there? Random book. Okay, so we need a key for that. Who the hell did I hear talking? Are you up here now? No? Where the hell was he? What? what the hell, man? It's haunted. Ah, sunlight. I'm really considering curing my vampirism because it's getting very annoying. Every time I walk outside, I just get blinded. What is in the pots? A green apple. What's in you? A green apple. Okay. I think we'll leave them there. Ooh, a blacksmith. Let's go see if he's got anything interesting to buy. What up, yo? You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old nope. man's taken my pickaxe again. Why all the fuss no, over no, a simple no, pickaxe? This is just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking oh, about really? an ancient Nordic pickaxe. Oh. They don't exactly grow on trees, you know. Can't you just get the guards to find um, him? I prefer to handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Okay, I'll knock at his door with a baseball bat. Apparently I have noticed a shadow mark by your door. Well, well. It's been a long time since someone from the guilds bothered to make their way out here. So tell me, how's my brother Delvin? Still spending his nights at the Ragged Flagon trying to win Vex's heart? He's well. Good to hear. I wonder what he Damn would say if he was dead. To send his own flesh and blood a letter saying how he's doing. Can you imagine? Anyway, I suppose you're looking for work. Well, I got bad news. This place is drier than a damn bone. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Eager to make some coin, eh? That's the spirit. I'll tell you what. The guild's got a problem out here that I've been trying to deal with for years. But haven't been able to handle. The Thieves Guild's got a problem out here. Like that. I'm all alone out here, with no one to watch my back. And besides, it's really my problem anyway. I caused it. What did you do? A fellow Breton who went by the name Esmond Tyne showed up on my doorstep about a fortnight ago. He noticed the shadow marks like you did, and I thought he was one of us. So he stole something from you. That he did. Right out from under my nose. That you bastard. It? It's my own formula for improved bone mold. Took me years to perfect. So where's Esmentine now? Well, before he ran off, he was talking some nonsense about trying to fence goods to the Reeklings at Castle Karstag. I told him he was crazy to even think about talking to those vicious little buggers. But he wouldn't listen. I'd bet a fat purse of coin that he's either dead or hiding out up there. I'll get the you formula that, back for you. I'll make sure you're set up right. 
You won't be disappointed. I better not be, or I'm going to cut your dick off. Right. So, the what are you selling? Weapons and armor. What a surprise. Okay, I bought some arrows, a storeroom light top, and a bone mold shield. You tell Crushes he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else. Okay, buddy. You really want that pickaxe, don't you? Looking for any potions, ingredients, alchemical supplies? Take a look. All right, then I will. Okay, so she's got tons of alchemy ingredients. Seems to have mostly soul slime stuff. That's kind of hard to say. Soul slime stuff. And ooh, she's got some good potions. And mm, good potions. Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients. I know, I know. I'll be back. Don't worry. I'll be back. Come with me if you want to leave. It's kind of creepy the way everyone stands around staring at me. <laughs> They're all racist. Like it's an outsider. Stare. What's this? Why is there a marker in here? Interesting. Has Dover Bear rejoined us? No. What up, Reekling, buddy? I'm gonna call it a Reekling. I really hate the word Reekling. That sounds so strange. Damn it, woman. I Damn it, woman. Precious, last time you explored the mine, you almost fell to your death. I'm not spending the rest of my days as a widow. And I'm telling you that I'll do whatever it takes to find my great-grandfather's remains. He's down here. I can feel it. That was almost two centuries ago. There may be nothing left to find. Just let me go, woman. Croesus, you're an obstinate old fool and you're going to get yourself killed. Yeah, you silly old git. You tell him. You old duffer. So I can take this stuff, can I? Yoink! What else you got? A hat? My apologies for Croesus's ravens. It doesn't look much like a hat to me. Let's try it out, shall we? Well, now we look baller. Yeah! Stylish hat. Okay. Get out of here, shovel. Don't want none of your crap. Rackling, you're in the way. What up, yo? Who in the blazes are you? Can't I'm you the Dovahkeen, bitch. Busy doing Why what? I, tell you? I don't even know who you are. I just told you I'm the Dovahkeen, bitch. It's dangerous for an old man like you. Ask most of the folks around here, and they'd agree with you. But mark my words. These mines hold a secret that could put Raven Rock back on the map. What sort of secret would be hidden here? A secret the East Empire Company swept under the rug two centuries ago. It killed my great-grandfather and left Raven Rock with a worthless and tainted mine. Uh, who was your grandfather? Gratian Kyrelius. He spent his entire life exploring ancient ruins across Tamriel. And he died in these very mines almost 200 years ago. How did he die? The East Empire Company called it a terrible accident, claiming that he was lost in a rockfall. But I know better. What's your proof? My wife and I were cleaning out our home we came across some of my great-grandfather's things locked in an old chest. I found an unsent letter he'd written to the East Empire Company, and a key. What did the letter say? It describes a discovery that was made in the mine by some of the diggers. They wanted Gratian to take a closer look. The East Empire Company must have felt it was of great value, as they locked that section of the mine off from everyone else. The keys to the lock section? It is. Well, I assume it is. I haven't been able to find the entrance. Hmm. I still think you're a crazy old bastard. I don't care what you or anyone else thinks about me. I'm telling you, there's something big down there. Something that the East Empire Company wanted to hide from everyone. Why are you telling me all of this? My wife nags that I'm too old to go traipsing around these mines chasing my story. Time's my enemy caught up with me before I could find the answers that I'm looking for. So you do need my help? I do. I want to know what happened to Gratian, and what the East Empire Company is keeping from all of us. Any idea of where Gratian to start? Gratian a journal of notes about his discoveries. If you can find his remains, I'm hoping it will help. Here's everything I have. The letter, the key, 
Please, do this for me, so I can finally regain the respect that I've lost. Thanks, bro. But Glover wants his ancient Nordic pickaxe back. Otherwise, I have to take out your kneecaps. The damn fool doesn't even deserve to have it. The pickaxe was made for mining, not selling. I'll bet he stole it from the skull in the first place. It doesn't belong to you. Don't make me crack out the baseball bat. Oh, very well. There's Here, a good boy. Tell him I hope he drops a thing on his foot. Now that's going too far. Why were you arguing with your much younger he wife? That old age has addled my mind. That I'm seeing things when there's nothing to be seen. I realize she cares about me, but she has to understand that I can't rest until I find out what happened to Gratian. What if she's right and I don't find then anything? I'll settle down peacefully and never set foot in this mine again. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, even before I discovered Gratian's old things. I just hope both of you don't mistake my enthusiasm for insanity. Well, it's been fascinating talking, but I've got to go. Be careful down there. Mine can be treacherous. Yes, buddy, don't worry, I will. So what is up here? Seemingly not much. Random book. Oh, I see you. East Empire Company, strong box. Gimme, gimme. Come on. Yeah. What do we get? Ah, pendant. Ah, uh, we'll take it all. Cool. Jump over the rackling. And down here. Ooh, he wasn't kidding. That's a long fall. Kinda tempted to foost rod down my rackling down there, but that's probably not a good idea. But it is really tempting. So what's down here in the darkness? I believe in a thing called love. Just listen to the room of my heart. There's a chance we can make it now. Just like Oh, Jesus. Okay, that scared the crap out of me. Thanks for covering my back, buddy. Good work. So what's over here? Precisely dick. Well, let's go somewhere else then. Come along, Cedric. That's his new name. Since I can't say Rackling properly, Reekling, Rackling, Rackling, he's now called Cedric, and he shall be henceforth known as such. Apparently there's a dead dude under here. And again, not much else. Ooh, spider. Ayawasa. Indeed, Cedric, indeed. Uh, nothing here. God damn it. So I think we go this way and then over here? Yes. We can probably jump down here. But I'm not going to, because I don't want to die, or get lost. Duh, East Empire Company. What are they up to? Those shifty bastards. They were up to no good in Pirates of the Caribbean, and now they're up to no good here. I mean, the next thing you know, they're going to start making trouble in my neighborhood. We're going to get in one little fight, and my mom's going to get scared and send me to live with my auntie and uncle in Bel Air. So I think the moral of this story is that we must stop the East Empire Company, otherwise that will happen, and that's not a good thing. Get the hell out of here, buddy. I don't want none of your shit. Anyone else? I see a boarded up hole. And a bucket. I'm guessing we gotta knock these down. Yes. Punch! And you. Come on. Eh. Sorry. My bad. Sorry. Oh, that's heal on dead. Well, okay. Move, Plank! Aha! I pulled a Patrick Sweezy. So we have a gate here, and we need a key. And there's another box. Ah, success! What's in the box? I will take it all. Anything over here? Nope. Okay, then. So, are we missing a key? Ah, oh, he gave me a key, of course. I forgot. Wait a second, he gave me a note as well, didn't he? Let's read that. Where is it? There it is. Gratian, I would appreciate if you could help us with the situation we've encountered in Raven Rock. It seems that the miners there have stumbled across some sort of ruins under the surface near Shaft 3, and we need your expertise to take a look. I could send someone else if you're busy, but I figured you'd want to go since I seem to recall that you're originally from Solstheim. Let us know if there is any progress. Rendelius something or other. Fantastic. Let's continue. So in other words, there's some ruins down here. Kinda knew that anyway, but hey, it's fun to read. Education, kids. And don't argue. 
Well, we're going to get attacked by some Draugas, aren't we? I can hear one breathing. Where are you, scum? There you are. Go get him, Sidric. Sidric. Sidric! You dumbass. I told you to get him. That's right. What are you... What? Oh, hello. You have proved useful. Is Sidric dead? Okay, no. He's just on his knees. Like his whore mother. And you have been defeated. And so have you. Oh, he's back up. Do I have a healing spell I can use on him? Let's have a look, shall we? I can never tell which one of these is the healing one. Ah, here we are. Right, we have healing hands. Let's favorite that. Uh, where is it? Man, it's taken me a while to get used to this new menu. There you go, buddy. What the? Oh, God. I thought he was attacking me. And you are dead, you ambushing son of a bitch. Right, let's see if there's anyone else around here. I still hear battle music. Oh, okay, it's gone. Yoink. What you got for me? Money and a magic potion. Don't mind if I do. Is there any more goodies around here? Ooh. That looks cool. Oh, I didn't see you there. Why? Why? <laughs> well, that sucked. I had to do the whole dungeon again because I hadn't saved it. That's the thing with tougher traps, man. It's going to kill you. But it's fun. I mean, I explained in a video before, it's annoying when you do die, but it means that dungeons are much more dangerous in the meantime. So, I don't know. I like it, even though it's very annoying sometimes. One for you. Oh, you're not alive, okay. I see you up there, buddy. A death lord, of course. How I love my bow. Ha ah, ha! You are dead. Scum? What have you got? Nothing good? Unsurprising, really. They never have anything good. Give me booty, goddammit. Mmm, that booty. You are alive. Very much. I didn't one-shot you. Too late, buddy. He's dead. He's dead. Let's try out one of those abilities that we got from the stones. Yes. Yoink. You alive? Nope. Give me that money. And you give me your money as well and your arrows. We'll try it on the next monster we come across. Yes, ebony arrows. Need them. I keep looting things, man. It's 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 too tempting. It's gonna be a rumble in here, isn't there? Are you alive? Yes you are, of course. We'll try the ability. Hmm, I kicked the crap out of my rackling. So you know, it wasn't all bad. Kill him. That's right, you serve as cannon fodder. I'll just be over here. Kill him. Fantastic. Any more? I'm watching you. You're alive, aren't you? Yes. I knew it. Let's try conjuring a werebear. If I could find the spell. It's not here. Is it? No. What the hell? We got it. The other ones are here. Okay, I guess we're going to have to go back to the stone. That sucks. Let's try raising one of these bodies. Uh, yeah, we'll try you. Cool. Need all the help we can get. There's like a gazillion death lords. Oh, it's beating me up. Help me. Let's try... Uh, I don't know. Fire. I want to kill something with our fire shout so we can get a fire worm come from their corpse because we haven't tried that out yet either. So we'll try and get this guy low enough. Oh, come on. That did like nothing. Lame. Well, this sucks. Where are you when I need you, Dover Bear, huh? Where are you? You lazy prick. How about a little pyromancy? That's not doing nearly enough damage. God diggity damn it, stop dying. I need your help. I really, really need your help. And I'm beating him up now. And now I'm out of magic. Well, shit.
Holy shit, will you die? Scum! Oh, thank God. Thank God he's dead. He's finally dead. Right, better give me those arrows back. I wasted enough on you. Where's the rackling? Rickling, rackling, rakling. Chad Musker, Gilbert. Cedric, that's his name. I remember now. It's not Chad Musker or Gilbert. A master chest. Behold! I have finally unlocked the chest. And it's full of crap. Wow. What a freaking waste of time. Let's pretend that chest didn't even happen. This place looks cool. What's this? It's nothing. Ooh. It's over here. Also nothing. I don't know what the hell that is, but I'm going to check that out in a second. What have you got, buddy? Not much. You have a helmet and a sword. More random junk. Gimme gimme. Ooh, it's a good archery potion. So what are you? Ah, Stourim Ore, okay. Random dead body. That's kinda cool. So what do you have? Just gold. I'll take it. I'm not averse to grave robbing. Ooh, that is a good paralysis potion. I will also take that. And I do not want your strength potion. Are you a trap? No. Kinda disappointed. Hmm. Why are there alchemy ingredients all over the floor? Is this like a trail of breadcrumbs? Are you going to lead me to my doom? I don't trust you. But I want your goodies. Give them to me. Any more? Oh, Disappointment. At least we haven't died because of it. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! Heal up. Heal up. Right freaking now. Holy shit. Wow. And we're still dying. Okay. That's a trap. Um, yeah, I think we can knock them off. And I'm pretty sure that deactivates them. Let's see, shall we? Yes. Good. Yoink. Oh, okay. Seems to take ages for that one to come into my inventory. And now we are in the murky depths. Knock, knock. Surprise, bitch! No, no, no. Come back here. You son of a bitch. There you are. Oh, come on, sidestepping bullshit. I hate that so much. There's more. Show yourself. Perfect. Indeed, Cedric. Indeed. And one more. Ooh, a long shot. It's like playing Call of Duty. Long shot, plus 50 points. Yeah, points. Okay, that guy is an archer. And if I know anything about Skyrim, it's that an archer is probably going to one-shot me on Master. So, uh, we got to be careful here. That's hitting him, but not doing very much damage. You are full of arrows, sir. Give me some of them back. Oh, you cheapskate. Oh. <laughs> Please do not shoot me. Don't shoot me. Ah! He's, he's gonna shoot me. <laughs> I don't want to get hit. Okay, I've got an idea. And it basically consists of kicking the crap out of him with my crossbow. And paralysis helps. Right, so how do we get up here? There we go. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Become Ethereal. I'm the Kron. That way, if he shoots me on my way over to him, he won't be one shot on me. Now I should be able to get in a better position to take him out. Genius. Genius. And Cedric is distracting him. Good work, Cedric. You're the best cannon fodder a man could ask for. Couple more shots. Just don't get hit. Do not get hit. Timber! Fantastic. So there's a gate over here. I don't know how to open the gate. There you go, buddy. Good work. Right, let's see if we can find a way to open the gate and hopefully not walk into any traps in the meantime and kill ourselves. What's this? Just candles, okay. Potion of water walking. Didn't know there was such a thing in Skyrim. 
Man, I suck at lockpicking today. Anything good? Not really. Okay, so how do we open the gate? Clearly I am a blind son of a bitch because there was a handle right there. Shortcut. Stylish. So what is in here? Certain Doom, I expect. Hello, Certain Doom, are you here? That looks foreboding. Yeah. I see you up there, Mr. Crystal. You're not shooting me. Screw you. Right, let's try going this way for now. Any booty under the staircase? Of course not. Holy shit, there is! I feel vindicated. I've been saying it forever. They should have hid chests underneath staircases. And finally they have. It's like the perfect place to hide things, man. Vindication. Okay, so what is over here? I'm gonna die, aren't I? There's a spell tome down there. I wonder if we can telekinesis it. Let's try, shall we? Come to me! Nope, and I fell off. Yeah, it doesn't work. I don't even want it. What a damn waste of time that was. And since I know somebody's going to ask, I'm going to say it now. The Levelless Telekinesis spell is from the Levelless Tower mod for Skyrim, which is probably my favourite house mod in Skyrim. It's also made by the guy who made Ancient Towers for Oblivion, which happens to be my favourite housing mod in Oblivion. So in other words, if you haven't checked out Levelless Tower, go check it out, because it's awesome. Fuck! Luckily, I quick saved it before I picked the lock on the last chest. Otherwise, holy shit! That was close. Otherwise, I could have had to do the whole dungeon again. I can't help but feel like I didn't just step on a pressure plate and yet it went off. So maybe my rackling set it off? I don't know. If he did, he's in trouble. I'll beat your ass. Random chest. Are you trapped random chest? You better not be. Hooray! What do we get? Lockpick level. Ooh, a chitin shield? How is that pronounced? Does anybody know? Is it chitin, chitin? Somebody tell me, man. Somebody tell me. But you know, just bear in mind that even if you do tell me how to pronounce it, I'm probably still going to say it wrong because that's what I do. Ooh, this looks cool. Very cool. And apparently we are nowhere near done in this dungeon yet. Well, I think I've been recording for quite a while now. I'm not sure how I'm going to edit this, but I'm going to end the episode here, and then next time we will venture in there and see what adventure awaits us. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, I always appreciate it when you click the like button. And I will see you guys next time for more Dragonborn.